Great to have you with us. We are set to get you over the hump this Wednesday night with another edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. On the sidelines, Ali LaForce. We've got the visitors and the Los Angeles Clippers. Now the starting group for the visitors. We've got Walker. Walker out there with Walker. And it's Money in at the power forward position. Good on both. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Pass to McAdoo. Back to Paul. Leonard outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Knocks it down from distance. Paul, oh, one of the very best passers in the game, and he gives it to you right on time and on target. Here's Walker. Misses the layup. Redick outside. Shoots off the step back. It's tipped. Austin passes to Walker. Deflected. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. And just about a minute into this first quarter. And there's the screen. Away team foul. Austin. First personal foul. First team foul. Griffin passes to Leonard. Off target from three-point range. It's Walker on the wing. The three is up. Good. And it's Walker who picks up the assist. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. And so it's Paul who brings up the ball for the L.A. Clippers. Pass to McAdoo. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Outside Paul. Let's it fly from 18. Can't get it to drop. Not exactly what they're looking for out of the gates. Just one of four shooting. Here's Austin, marked by Redick. Walker, a screen on Redick. Austin passes to Walker. In transition, here come the Clippers. Leonard, good. Leonard's got five points. And you can't afford to lose sight of Leonard in these situations. He's just so dangerous and assertive in transition. Here's Walker. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Now Paul. That shot is off. Here's Austin. Tipped. Now here's Griffin. Tightly guarded. Blocked. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. And Blake Griffin is just an incredible athlete, explosive and great balance and mobility, powerful. A big, big guy who can flat out throw it down, and he also can pass it, too. He does not get the second one. Walker against Paul. Beyond the arc. They get it back. The kick out to Walker. Second shot opportunity. No luck on that one. Nice D from Paul. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Count it. McAdoo's ability from the mid-range really opens up a lot of the floor for him. His mechanics, flawless. Walker passes to Money. Outside Walker. With the drive. Pass to Austin. Outside Walker. Just five to shoot. And a jam by Walker. You want to talk about mad, crazy vertical? That was ridiculous. And then added in the extended hang time. 
elevation and levitation. Now here's Paul. Yet to see a basket. Drops in the three. Chris Paul more than capable of striping it from distance, too, but he's a master of the mid-range. And it's Walker off the drive. And the jam by Walker. When you're trying to stop a guy like this, you have to match his intensity level. And we all know what can happen when he gets rolling. A hot start can turn into an explosive scoring night. Here's Leonard. He's got five. Money grabs the miss. Money's got four rebounds now. Paul against Walker. Count the basket. Walker's got his third bucket of the night. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Here's a three from Paul. Walker pulls down the board. Well, he has not been sharp this period. Seems to be a little flustered out there, too. Outside Walker. A minute 22 left in the first. Here's Money, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Substitution for your Clippers. And the Clippers call time here. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Let's give another round of applause for your hoop crew. One ten left in the first. Pass to Paul. Here's free. 4-3. Money grabs the miss. Wow, potent offense. It's been fun to watch. <laughs> Just aggressive and effective. Taking it right to the defense. Here's Brand. And he lobs it up top. Outside Paul. Here's Manning. Got it. Good job in the low post. That is how you use the shot fake, folks. With a bucket here, they can recapture the lead. Mm-hmm. I like how they've hung in. Never let things get out of hand. Oh, and the fast break for the Clippers. Here's free. You got a piece of it. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. That's how you do it, big fella. With power. Yes. Who poked away. Walker with a steal. Pass to Walker. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Not really the best decision. I mean, get the easy two, the for sure two. No need to make it fancy and special. Griffin right side. No good on the buzzer beater. So it's a tie game as we end the first. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with... Close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen from the Clippers? That's <laughs> simple. Offensively, they limited their turnovers. Defensively, they forced turnovers. Yeah, I like the way they forced a ton of turnovers and then took advantage of those turnovers with opportunistic baskets. We've got Walker. Walker out there with Walker. And it's Money in at the four spot. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. Here's Paul. It's deflected. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Free throw good. Walker. And both free throws good for Walker. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. Here's Free. Still without a bucket. And the Clippers miss again. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Nice shot by Walker. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. And that one good. 
world be free, a talented combo guard, known for his scoring, but I like seeing him find open teammates, too. Walker's shot is off. Away team. Walker. First personal power. First team power. Boy, Reddick has some of the most admirable traits you want to see in any basketball player. His professionalism and work ethic have made him the player he is today. The Clippers trail. Shoots from the line. Got a hand on it. Walker passes to Walker. Outside Walker. And there's a pick. He connects. And now he's four for six in today's game. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Walker against Paul. Reddick outside. The three. Walker pulls down the board. Walker's got four rebounds now. Walker against Paul. Walker's shot is off. And it's Paul with the ball for the L.A. Clippers. They trail by six. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. Reddick's gotten four this quarter. Got to get out on Reddick. The range he has is in the gym light. Ridiculous. Capable of torching you from right there. Here's Walker. And he converts the layup. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Now Los Angeles with it. Here's Paul. Softly drops in the floater. Paul's got five. And Paul with the good touch on the floater. Guys, that's a difficult shot to make, that floater. But it's one of his many go-to shots. Inside. Here's Walker. Yes. Great play by Walker to set it up. Walker's got his third assist of the night. And they've really managed to dominate inside. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. Now a timeout called by the Clippers. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ballgame. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. Reddick passes to Griffin. Money grabs the miss. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. Tower down after the assist led him to the lane. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Here's Free. Walker covering. The shot by Free. No good. Left side Walker. Fires from deep. Pure from three-point range. Walker's gotten himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. Here's Free. It's deflected. Two minutes remaining. In transition, here they come. Outside Walker. And just wasn't able to set up in time. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level, in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. The kick out to Walker. They've done a lot of good things today. But one area they need to improve is their ball security. They need this. That one rolls around and rims out. He is zero for his last however many this quarter, guys. Might need to get him out and let him settle down a bit here. Now here's Walker. Tight defense on him. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Walker. First personal power. Here are the Clippers. Nine point game. The floater. And that's two points on the layup. Paul's gotten four this quarter. Paul knows exactly which angle he wants to take on that shot inside. That just comes from great awareness. The ball's knocked loose. Reddick outside. With nobody on him, he buries that jumper. Reddick's got seven points in the game. 
He came up dry offensively in the first, but looks like he's ready to turn it around. Walker with it. That one falls. His second make in five attempts. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they had. Some really tough defense inside, but Leonard won't back down. I mean, he's just scrappy. He wants to make the defense work twice as hard. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter, <laughs> and it's getting them to the free throw line. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. They are just owning the boards right now. And that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the last. Seven-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Walker. And the jam by Walker. And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. Boy, and I used to love going up and jamming it down like that guy. Chris Paul. And he drops the first. You know, Chris Paul has probably forgotten more about basketball than most of us know. He's an encyclopedia of knowledge for the game. Right side, Walker. And that's not going to go. And so it's Vancouver leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. Back after this. Welcome, everyone. As I know what Shaq's going to say. Elbow sandwiches. Those guys are physical, and they've controlled the glass. And now let's take a moment to look into the future. Here's the upcoming schedule. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson. Just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And it's Paul with the ball for the LA Clippers. They trail by six. Kawhi Leonard out there with Blake Griffin. Then there's Chris Paul. Then there's JJ Redick. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Here's Walker. And the jam by Walker. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. And the bucket is good. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. One shot. Got a piece of it. Walker with a steal. Right wing. Here's Austin. Good. And it's Walker who picks up the assist. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. And if they're going to make a move, this is a good time to start. And, and there's still plenty of time, but they definitely don't want to let this game get too far out of hand. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. And he drives in. Knocked away. And it's Paul off the drive. Griffin passes to Paul to stop the run. Drills it from deep. Paul's got 12. You know, CP3 is exploiting that defense right now, making them pay time and time again. Here's Austin. Uneasy two on the layup. They haven't missed a beat coming out of the locker room. A perfect four for four. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Over 
over a minute and a half now into this third quarter action. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. The G League is continuing to be a laboratory, if you will, for new rule changes that eventually make it to the NBA from the coach's challenge to take foul. Possibly up next, a target score for overtime instead of a running clock. It's been a popular change in the G League, and it eliminates multiple overtime games. Brian, it couldn't make the jump. I like it. It's worth a shot. Thanks, Allie. Here's Leonard. It's tipped. Far from an ideal start here. I mean, this half just one for four so far. Walker for three. The Clippers grab the miss. Leonard on the wing. Walker covering. Shot by Leonard. No good. Boy, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Controls the rebound and the putback. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. The Clippers really having a tough go here. Here's Paul. He got a piece of it. It's Walker on the wing. Here's the three. Griffin pulls down the board. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Out to Leonard. Can they get it? And that's good for two. Give him eight. Yeah, Kawhi, a master of the mid-range. For most, it's not efficient, but for him, it's cash money. Austin passes to Walker. The three-pointer off the mark. Now Los Angeles with it. It's a 16-point game. Deflected! Pass to Walker. And there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off. Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he does. That's what we call helium. Yeast rising and helium floating. To the inside. Nakadoo. Yes. And it's Leonard with the assist that time. And that was a good read from Leonard. Noticing the overcommitment and exploiting it. Here's Austin. Marked by Reddick. Walker for three. Here they come with numbers in transition. And there's the rejection. He just can't find a consistent way to score. And this team could certainly use it. And they keep attacking from the three-point range here in the second half. Yeah, I have no problem with that. As a matter of fact, I hate to see teams get conservative with the league. As long as they're good shots, take them. And as long as they're falling, continue to take them. Timeout called. The Clippers. and finds Leonard. Launches a three. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. I like when Kawhi forces the issue, making the defense compromise with the foul. He hits the second from the line. And he nails the third. Minute 32 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Griffin. Pass to McAdoo. Now here's Leonard. Puts up a three. And the Clippers miss again. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. Here's Austin. 103 left to play in the third. Clock at six. Outside Walker. Goes up at the elbow. Let's it go from deep. He drops it from range. Walker's got six. 
Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. 34 seconds left in the third quarter. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after it. Offline with a three. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor, but his teammates have picked up the slack. Oh, it's stolen. And they're on the break. Here's Walker. Finished off the break. Walker's got five points now this quarter. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. And the basket by Leonard. Oh, a fantastic score. Kawhi can put a barrage of points up quick. Counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And so it's Vancouver up 19 points as. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. World be free. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. We've got Walker. Walker out there with Walker. And it's Boomer in at the shooting guard position. And you look at this new in-season tournament. What are your thoughts, Grant? So, B.A., I do think they've created some meaningful incentives to motivate players and teams. So, you know, it's worth trying, and I'm anxious to see how the fans ultimately embrace it. And there's the lob, and he dunks it down. Well, I tell you what, the big guy knows how to do that. Throw it down. So it's the Clippers now. Here's Harper. Poke loose. Walker with a steal. Here's Money. Boom! He jams it straight down. Well, look, I mean, great anticipation on one end leads to points on the other. Boy, there's not much defense available once a steal is made. That's the best time to attack on the break. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half. And that's taking care of business, fellas. Here's Austin. Pass to Money. Six on the shot clock. Second chance shot. And the layup is up and in. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. And the Clippers miss again. Reddick's gone two of seven, struggling a bit. That's his fourth foul. I'm sure he recognizes the situation because number five would put him in a rough, tough spot. And the Clippers making a change here. Leonard's checked in. Here's Walker. They set the screen. Down low. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. Here's free. It's off his foot. That'll be and it's ball. whistled a kick. Uh -oh. Griffin finds Leonard. Shoots over Walker. And what a move by Leonard. Baiting the defender to get them where he wants them. Oh, you look at the size of the contracts now. Clark, you wish you could still lace him up? Hey, it's all relative, B.A. Guys that played way before me probably felt the same way about the money we were making in the mid-80s. So it's relative. But it is quite astronomical. But it is a function of TV contract revenue and also merchandising and other income from ticket sales and the like and that number is humongous and the players deserve a significant portion of that and that's why the math as crazy as it looks um, still works and the Clippers with the ball here's free count that one transition basketball the most reliable way to generate easy looks yep exactly and if there's any opportunity for early offense you've got to push it and push it every time 
Walker passes to Money. Misses the three. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Oh, swiped away. The pull-up J. Nice shot by Walker. Walker. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Griffin, a screen on Walker. And he's going for the lob. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. And that efficiency, as you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. And Walker's got the ball here for Vancouver. Here's Money. And I heard Giannis Antetokounmpo say he would have loved to go to your alma mater, Grant, because of all the tall and skilled players that have come out of Duke. You know, B.A., I'm not sure he mentioned me on that list, but certainly nice to hear that from Giannis. Gets the three to fall. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Paul passes to Reddick. Leonard outside. Hires the three. Money grabs the miss. Money's Leonard's gone just one for four from deep. Walker for three. The rebound by McAdoo. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Walker against Leonard. Walker with some nice D. Leonard's gone 4 of 12 from the floor. From outside the arc. And it's Walker. That time on the assist by Walker. Walker's got 10 points here in the second half. Whoa, that man is laser focused. Now, that's bad defense for a team that has a long way to go to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive end first. And stolen by Leonard to the paint. Here's McAdoo. Nice pass. Nice catch. And a resounding dunk. Boy, you like the hustle from McAdoo right there. Getting up and down the floor and getting rewarded for it. Here's Walker. Outside Walker. The shake. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Walker's got four points now in the quarter. One eleven left in the fourth quarter here. Leonard for three. Drains the triple. Yeah, Kawhi has never relied on the three-pointer, but it's a part of his game that unlocks the rest of what he can do on the offensive end. Austin passes to Walker. The kick out to Walker. The three is up. And Walker with the three. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Walker. Fifty-one seconds left in the fourth. Ball passes to Griffin. Pass to Reddick. Five to shoot. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Reddick. Boy, that looked like a failure to communicate. You hate unforced errors.
32 seconds left in the final quarter. Jack's up a three. Here's Austin. Spins. From deep. The rebound by McAdoo. And the Clippers with the ball. Outside Paul. Three-pointer, no good. Outside Walker. Uses the glass on the layup. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. The visit.